Oh man. <laughs> you just get the, the view of it, that's why you get it really doesn't care. It's like, I'm long, low, slack. Just pile it on. So good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to the Baldi Biker. My name's Joe and today I've got something quite special. Another bike review. Yeah! And the bike review today is the Mondraker Level. And this is quite an aggressive, long travel, coil sprung 29er. Woo! Yeah! For those of you that don't really know the Mondraker uh, company, it's a Spanish company. And here it's tried to create it's sort a of hardcore enduro e-mountain bike um, and it comes in two model options it comes in the level r and the level rr and really the difference is uh, the the spec components and this is the level rr so this is their full top of the range 7000 plus bike so pretty expensive stuff so just a little bit more about the bike and its components so this is an aluminium frame weighs in about uh, just under uh, 25 kilos so it's up there at the top range of being heavy you know for a big gravity beast of a bike it's not too bad on the handle and obviously it's not as nimble as uh, some of the trail bikes I've tried but it's not the end of the world so Mondraker was really wanting to build, I think, a quite a long travel uh, bike and it certainly has uh, uh, done, done that. And I think it looks pretty awesome as a bike. Yes! <laughs> well, it can jump a little bit anyway. <laughs> yeah! So it's powered by the Bosch Performance CX motor and it's got a power tube, a 500 watt hour and fully integrated uh, battery as well uh, as standard and this battery is also uh, removable so you can charge it up on the on the bike or you can take it off and uh, charge it at your, in, inside your house it's providing about 75 newton meters of torque so where is that in the range well shimano steps is about 70 meters newton meters of torque this is 75 uh, a sort of Yamaha one is about 80 newton meters of torque and the Bros ones are about 90 newton meters of torque so you can see where it sort of sits in the range sort of behind the Bros uh, but above the Shimano steps in terms of uh, uh, the sort of oomph it gives you so this Mondraker is running off this Bosch CX performance motor um, and you can definitely feel the power of the uh, the Bosch as I start climbing up here not sure this is quite as smooth as a Shimano that I've tried but uh, certainly powerful enough to get me up here so in terms of the user interface it's positioned here on the left hand side as you can see this is the sort of Bosch Puron onboard computer thing it's quite simple it's got a walk assist at the bottom it's got the on off at the top and then you've got your toggle so basically what you've got is your eco level which i'm finding is um not giving much assist so it really is uh, lugging a 24 odd kilo bike around so not that useful it's got a tour which is much more useful sort of get you around the flats and up some of the uh, the single track climbs then it's got a thing called sport now that's very interesting as well because that's where the computer's taking over it's recognising what power you're putting through, what torque you're putting through and it's adjusting the power assist accordingly so basically if you're on the flat it's pulling off and if you're on steep climbs it's giving you more oomph so it allows you to do that although it does use a lot more um, battery power to do that so you've just got to watch the battery assist and then it's got its turbo and that is very powerful indeed that's giving you the full maximum assist but what I've again found is that the battery level goes down considerable here so use it sparingly so some single track uphill but takey I've had to come out of the sort of tour mode and uh, go into the sport so it's now sort of regulating the torque itself based on what it thinks is happening with, with the amount of power I'm putting through the pedals Turbo mode Turbo is what you would expect 
full uh, 75 meters of torque so this will get you up pretty much anything you want so this bike gets a 170 millimeter fork and you can see that it's in the consumer full coating it's a fox factory 36 and it also gets uh, 160 mil in the rear travel by its uh, fox x2 coil shock which i've never ridden before but it's pretty 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 impressive i've usually ridden the fox x2 air shock so first time for me on the coil so one of the cool features of this bike is it incorporates uh, mondraker's um, zero suspension system and this is a dual link design where the shock here floats um, between the two suspension links and is compressed from both ends and that makes the rear suspension extra sensitive to impacts and, and yeah have i found that yeah because i've been going off drops and some of the jumps on the ride you do feel that extra uh, support there so it, it's, it seems to work pretty well let's take it down some techie stuff <laughs> oh man you just get the, the view of it I speak it really doesn't care it's like I'm long, low, slack. Just pile it on. Just point me. Whoa. Give me these rocks, and I will eat them for breakfast. Just saying to me, she's not riding it fast enough. Oh my god, that was easy peasy on that stuff. So, in terms of the wheel set, this is on a, a, a DT Swiss, uh, it's an H1900 uh, and it's a 29er uh, with a uh, 30mm. Uh, internal width and it's uh, obviously it comes tubeless ready as you would expect uh, I would say DC Swiss one of the best rims for uh, e-bikes and uh, this one's uh, not any different in terms of the tyres uh, this has got the uh, the Max's uh, Minion uh, DHF 29 uh, times 2.5 in the rear tyre it's got uh, the Max's Minion DHR uh, DHR 2s with the 29 and 2.4 Get in there! Oh. Yeah, boy! Ooh. Pure dead brilliant! So in terms of brakes, really important and this comes with the uh, SRAM code um, RSC and this is 200 millimeters front and back and uh, you definitely need this type of uh, stopping power for this weight of bike and uh, uh, these are i found them ideal uh, so they've been working perfectly on this uh, on this bike for me so in terms of the drivetrain well this is a, a SRAM um, EX1 um, with an XG899 cassette so it's basically got eight gears that you're using there and the, the, the thought processes with that is that on the e-bike you don't really need the full 10 or 11 gears you can use the 8 and the motor and that should get you up with the range of these gears on pretty much everything so it comes as standard with a stoic carbon uh, bar this is 780mm um, and uh, I think that again pretty much uh, perfect for that so finishing it off it's got the Fox Transfer uh, Factory Kashima uh, dropper post and depending on the size you pick um, it will go from like 100 millimeters 225 millimeters and 150 millimeters here we go oh, my god 
<laughs> oh, suspension and handling on this bike going downhill is friggin' awesome. Whoa, oh, gee. <laughs> Yeah, boy. What I'm finding with the bros motor as well is you've really got to be in the right gear to get the proper assist. If you're in the wrong gear, it's a wee bit of a dog. The right gear, you can feel it kicking in. But on the downhill, it doesn't really give a shit. It's all gravity. Whoa. Whoa. And fun factor. Whoa. Whoa. And hanging on for dear life. Yeah. So I've had a great ride in this uh, bike today, I really enjoyed uh, trying it. It's the first time I've ever tried uh, a Mondraker, it's the first time I've actually tried a 29er. So what's a first there? This is the first time I've used a, a Bosch motor and I would say it's okay. It's not as intuitive as Shimano one, it's not as smooth. The other thing that I found, it was absolutely eaten up uh, power as well so you I, I wasn't getting the same range so if you're looking at trying to do i don't know 25 20 25 miles on the bike uh, you'll struggle with this i think this motor um if you're trying to do like anywhere between sort of 10 and 15 no problem it'll cover it and if you're trying to then be conservative with it by using sort of eco and trail and that type of thing you really don't get an awful lot of support in the eco and you'll be lugging about uh, quite a significant weight of bike so i would say mm, that's a wee bit uh, disappointing for 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 me in terms of reviewing the bike try to be honest honest review that was a bit that uh, sort of let me down a little bit i think so i really enjoyed having a go at this bike really long slack 29er had some great fun in it brilliant for the downhills brilliant for the techie stuff not so great on just general trail riding, a wee bit awkward on some of the sort of narrow stuff. It's quite a you know well built bike, quite strong, can take the poundings, um, quite step stable on high speeds as well. Obviously, what you're what you're then giving up is agility. If you're going up sort of slow, narrow single tracks, this is a bit of a beast. And if you're doing really sort of general trail riding, again, I think this is quite a big bike to lug around. So it's for a certain type of mountain bike rider. It's for people who really just want the bike to get them up there and then come down quite aggressive uh, downhills. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video, um, giving a bike review on this Mondraker Level RR. Fantastically uh, componentized bike, if that's the word. Some great stuff on this bike and some really interesting uh, geometry. Go check it out if you're really interested in your gravity e-mountain bikes. Going over jumps, going over step downs, rock gardens and going as fast as you possibly can, this bike will definitely be able to handle it. Uh, so worth checking out if you're that type of rider with these type of trails. So hope you've enjoyed it and it's just left to say, have fun in the trails. <laughs> uh, that was friggin' awesome.